Welcome to Ryan Dude 5, 6, 7, 8. Wahoo! Hello dudes, Ryan Dude 5, 6, 7, 8 here, and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U. As you can see, we are very close to nearing the end of our journey. We are in World 7, and obviously there are only 9 worlds in this game, so we are very, very close to ending our journey, and, you know... If you guys didn't realise, yes, I am still playing as Mario. I figured I would get this explanation out of the way now for those of you that are kind of confused because up to this point, I have been switching characters every part up until the last part where I replayed Mario. So, you know, for part one, I was Mario, part two, Luigi, three, Yellow Toad, etc, etc. The reason I'm sticking with Mario is because I have decided, you know, I kind of discussed this in the last part, I'm pretty sure, but I will say it again here. For the rest of the playthrough, I am going to be sticking as Mario just because I figured now that we have, you know, scrolled through all the characters and cycled through them all, I figured it would make sense to just do the rest of the game as the main man Mario. But for World 9, aka the Secret World, which I will be doing in this Let's Play, since this is a 100%, you know, Let's Play playthrough, whatever, I have decided that for World 9, I will be going back to my boy Luigi, because you know, Luigi's my boy, he's my favourite character, at least right now, so I figured for the rest of the, you know, basic game, so World 7 and the next part, World 8, we will be doing Mario, for World 9, aka the final part of the series, we'll be doing Luigi, so figured I would get that explanation out of the way, just in case there are some people that might be a little bit confused, that's why I'm still playing Mario, or, you know, stuff like that, so figured I would get that explanation out of the way, but... With that said, let's just get right into this. Like, here we are, World 7. Um, I'm not gonna lie, World 7 has probably been the most consistent world that I enjoy in at least a console New Super Mario Bros. games, especially in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which I actually very recently revisited and rebought. Like, I replayed that game and it was just an absolute blast, and World 7 was unironically one of my favourite worlds in that game, if not my favourite world. I don't know why. I don't know if, if I'm just a big fan of, like, the sky slash cloud themed worlds, but that world, at least in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, is easily one of my favourites, and I, I'm tempted to say that the same thing applies to New Super Mario Bros. U. I don't know why, but there's just something about the cloud worlds in the console entries that I'm actually a really, really big fan of. I feel like they're some of the most consistently good worlds in the console entries, and maybe even just in general in the New Super Mario Bros. series. Like, I really do think the, you know, cloud world is one of the most consistently good worlds in these games so i'm actually really excited for this part and i'm just like really excited to just end this journey because there is so much that i'm like looking forward to on the channel and you know like i've said a thousand times this series was kind of just like a filler series not that i haven't been enjoying it of course i've been enjoying it like this is probably one of my favorite mario games at least from the 2d games you know i'm an absolute sucker for new super mario bros but this was admittedly a filler series that i was doing just you know to get something out on this channel because at the time it was still brand new i had just launched it and nintendo was in a really dry state you know we didn't really have anything coming up there wasn't really anything to get excited about wasn't really anything to make videos on so i just decided to replay this game since you know it's one i love so much but you know i'm excited to honestly get you know the rest of the series out and more specifically i'm really excited to be uploading these parts more frequently now because up until the last part i kind of been like delaying the parts i didn't even realize i got double five i think double five is an ice flower because I know 6-6 six, six is a mini mushroom, but that's like one of the few ones that I've actually memorised. I think 9-9 nine, nine is maybe a star as well, and 1-1 one, is a mushroom. Yeah, it's a nice flower. Look at me memorising the game, guys. It's like I've played it before, you know? Like, <laughs> Nah, but uh, in all seriousness, like, I, I am really excited to not only be, you know, you know, playing through the game, but I'm also really excited to, you know, start pushing out these parts more frequently because like i said in the last part i have been like really delaying these parts i haven't really been in the mood to be uploading them or you know i've been busy with stuff but you know i'm excited to finally be consistently uploading this series again and hopefully oh i didn't realize this was the ocean level i kind of forgot about that i guess we'll take him but like yeah i'm just really excited to be uploading this game frequently again and honestly, once this series ends, we've just got so much 
exciting stuff to look forward to, man. At least for me. Like, we've got Luigi's Mansion 2 HD coming out very soon in just a few weeks' time. I'm pretty sure it's like two weeks as I'm recording this. It might even be two weeks on, like, on the dot as I'm recording this. So, you know, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, very close to releasing, and I could not be more excited for that. And then we obviously have the Nintendo Direct coming out this month as well. Um, not sure what to expect from that Direct. I'm assuming it's going to be a pretty, like, boring, kind of, you know, low-tier Direct since we are on the, like, cusp of getting the Switch successor. And obviously they have specified that there's not going to be anything relating to that console in this Direct. So I'm assuming this Direct is just going to be a bunch of ports, remasters, remakes, you know, a bunch of, like, filler to kind of just get us towards the end of the Switch. But still, a Direct to Direct, I love reacting to those, so you already know. If there's at least, you know, a few interesting things, you can definitely expect me to upload my reaction to the channel. And yeah, man, like, there's just a lot of exciting stuff coming up this month, and just in general, for Nintendo fans, like, I think... There is a lot to look forward to, like A Thousand Year Door just came out as well, and unfortunately I won't be able to make a series on it for a while, but it's definitely one that I want to do a series of eventually, maybe towards the end of the year, like September, October, November, December, stuff like that, around that range. I could see myself getting it. Oh, here's Nabbit. I uh, I actually caught uh, the sparkling waters Nabbit off camera because I said I was going to do it in the last part, and then I completely forgot and just blanked. So I guess, you know, we will just go back and get him. It will give me time to actually, you know discuss some stuff with you guys as well but yeah overall got a lot of exciting stuff coming up for nintendo fans and especially on the channel so i'm actually just really excited man i'm really excited and the end of this series is just going to be the start of that so i mean hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series you know i started it as just like a filler series to do on the channel to pad out time while we wait for some more exciting nintendo news and games to come out but personally i've still been really enjoying it even as someone that just like recently replayed this game as i started this series like i've personally still been really enjoying just replaying through it again and you know get to share these memories with you guys you know because like in years to come this will be a very nostalgic series to revisit just to see how far the channels come and stuff like that so i don't know man i'm just really looking forward to the future of this channel and I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. You know, it's the first of hopefully many Let's Plays to come. Like I've said in this series, I am very interested in revisiting... Well, not revisiting, but playing through for the first time Bowser's Fury. Because, you know, despite replaying, a f like, 3D World a ton of times, I've actually never played Bowser's Fury beyond, like, the first little island. Whatever you want to call, like, the sections of that game. I've played, like, maybe an hour of that game max, and then I just gave up. I, like, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, honestly. But now that I'm a way bigger fan of, like, open world games, I'm really interested to revisit it, so... After Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, I think that will probably be the next thing we do on the channel, in terms of Let's Plays at least, is uh, Bowser's Fury. So, yeah man, like, we just got so much stuff, not only planned, but just to look forward to. And I just can't wait, man. I can't wait to start absolutely just grinding content, because, you know, when I launched this channel, things were just in a super dry state. Not only Nintendo news, but just, you know, I didn't really have many ideas for content as well, was, you know... Not really sure what I wanted to do with the channel yet, but now that I'm a little more confident in what I want to do with the channel and, you know, I'm just, you know, I know what I want to do, I'm like having fun with like the videos that I'm making right now, it's just super exciting, man. Got a lot of stuff to look forward to, and yeah, like, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Um, I'm just... I'm just excited. <laughs> that's, all, that's all there is to say. I'm just insanely excited, man. Especially for Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, because, like, I know that's a very controversial, like, remaster, especially, like, when comparing it to Luigi's Mansion 3, but I'm someone that has always had Luigi's Mansion 2 uh, as his favourite in the series. I know that's a very, very, you know, controversial opinion, but I've always been a huge fan of Luigi's Mansion 2. I don't know why, like, the ending of the game is by far my favourite in that series. I've just always been a huge fan of the mission-based structure, which I know is a very controversial opinion, more so than actually liking Luigi's Mansion 2 itself. But personally, I've just always been such a huge fan of that game, and I've been begging for a port or a remake or a remaster for years. So as someone that has that as the case, for me, it was like a dream come true. And 
the fact that we're going to get to, you know, play it for the first time in, like, over a decade with you guys in HD on a home console, that is just, oh, that is just so exciting, man. Like, that playthrough is going to be so just mind-blowing for me. Like, not only is it going to be me revisiting the game for the first time in over a decade, but it's going to be, you know, in HD, brand new, smoother animations. Um, like... I don't know, man. That is just going to be such a insanely fun experience. Like, that is going to be one hell of a playthrough on this channel. You guys better get ready. Like, that is going to be such a fun time. At least for me, you know. I know it's probably not going to be a popular series, especially on the channel, just because, you know, the game itself isn't that popular. But it's one that I'm definitely looking forward to doing. That is for sure. I'm... I'm just, I'm stoked for that game. Like, honestly, it's like all I've been thinking about the past few days, like, or pretty much just since June started, like, I've just been non-stop thinking about Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, man. Like, especially, like, doing the playthrough on the channel. It's, I'm, I, that's just all I've been able to think about. But, you know, gotta, gotta finish what we started first. Gotta end new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Gotta end it with style, baby. Um... I have actually also said that I'm working on, like, Wonder videos, like, I still have my, like, I actually still have footage from my coinless challenge, which I don't think I've ever actually, you know, openly said I'm making on the, this channel so far, but on Twitter, I've been making that video since, like, February or March, and I still have the footage, I just have not e e edited the video together. I actually got started on the video, I just haven't finished it yet, I've been very, like, just relaxed about the whole process of making that video it's like just been sitting there for a while honestly and it's gotten to a point where i'm not really sure if i'm gonna finish it like i want to because there was a lot of really clutch moments in that coinless run that i would love for you guys to see but overall i'm just i don't know like those videos take a long time to edit together so it's like i'm kind of in a situation where I'm just trying to find the motivation to get it done, if that makes sense. But, yeah, that is something that hopefully will come out eventually. Like, obviously I'll announce if I do end up, like, cancelling the video. But, for now, I wouldn't consider it cancelled. I do still want to finish it eventually. It's just right now, I just do not have the motivation to do that. So, <laughs> you know, apologies for those of you that do follow me on Twitter and have, like, been waiting on that video. I doubt there's, you know, many people that have been, like, actually, like, passionately waiting for that video since, you know, we have a very small community, but either way, it's like, I do apologise that it has taken so long, you know? Passion is a very big thing when it comes down to YouTube and content creation, and unfortunately, there will be times in your career where you just completely lack motivation for one reason or another, even if you don't have a reason to. Sometimes you'll just feel like you're not doing anything. And unfortunately, that's kind of the case with me in this video, so <laughs> who knows when I'm going to finish that. But enough rambling. It's Kamek time, baby. As like as as we saw in the last part, we defeated Boom Boom for the last time, so now it's Kamek's time to shine. I'm quite the Kamek fan myself, especially after the Mario movie. But unfortunately, we have to put him down. Um, <laughs> not a hard fight at all, because, you know, there's new Super Mario Bros, and there's very few things in this series that are actually difficult, but, you know what, the easier it is, the quicker we can get it done. <gasps> no, he went that way, I was hoping I was going to be able to land on him with the acorn and just get it done. Rest in peace. But you know what, it's fine, we've got this, where's he going to spawn? Okay, up here! I just went through that man. No! Oh! I d Whoa! I didn't even realise he could spawn enemies. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure they came out of the blocks. He didn't actually just straight up spawn them. But I actually complete... I don't think the fight has lasted that long, ever. To the point where I don't think I've ever seen him actually, like, escape the enemies from the boxes. Either way, my boy Kamek's gone. I mean, he's not. He's going to run away in, like, two seconds. But, like... Boom poofed him out of existence, but we all know he's still alive, because, like, everyone in this series is indestructible. Save the game? Absolutely. Uh, do we want to do the one-up house? I mean, might as well, right? I mean, it's not like we need lives, but, like, might as well do it while we're here. 
I'm not gonna lie, this might actually be. Uh, I, don't, mm, I don't know. I was gonna say it was one of my favorite like one house gimmicks in the series, but I really like the one in Wii where you have to like shoot yourself out of the cannon and like time it correctly. That was that's a really cool one. I think the one in New Super Mario Bros. 2 is probably my least favorite, just because it was you like punching one ups with a boxing glove, which is not really kind of random, but like. For a game that already has so many lives, I feel like the one-up houses in general were just kind of irrelevant in that game. But the one in Wii was a really cool one. This one's probably a close second for me, I really do like this one. I actually find this one-up house gimmick kind of fun. Especially like dodging the Bowsers, it's like if you get a really clutch one-up grab, like ground pounding, like delaying your jump between the Bowsers, that like you can get some really clutch moments in this one-up house. I actually really do like the one in this game. Oh boy! Here we are, the final boo house, thank god, because I am not a fan of the boo houses, they, like, I don't know, they just take way too long in my opinion, especially for 100% people like myself, but thankfully this is the last one, and I think this is probably one of my favourite ones in the game, just because I feel like I remember this one kind of well, but at the same time I feel like I don't, because <laughs> it's been a while, but... I feel like this is one of the more recognisable boo houses from this game. If I do remember, like I, I feel like I remember all of these rooms. It's just a matter of do I remember the specific doors that I need to go in to actually get the coins? Because I know there's also a secret exit, like there is in every boo house, and sometimes they hide the coins behind the secret exit. At least like the third star coin, they typically do that. So I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna go with like the path that I remember first and then I'll try and just, you know, revisit the level for the rest. Uh I'll go through this door first. Hmm. I'm actually <laughs> not gonna lie, I actually ooh, I think I went the right way. I think the first star coin is actually in here. I could be wrong. I'm kinda hoping I'm not. Okay, yep. I mean, got one star coin. Don't know if it's the first one, but it's a star coin. Please tell me you're gonna hit that. Yes, he is. I thought I missed it for a second, and it is the first one. Boom! Great start. Woohoo! Let's go. Can we get the second one? Because I'm pretty sure the third one is with the secret exit, so I think all we need is the second one, and then that should be it. Because I'm pretty sure the third one is paired up with the secret exit most of the time. I don't know if that's the case for every boo house, I've kind of forgotten, but that's typically the case with this game, so I think all we need is the second one and then we can just guns blazing through the rest of the level. Uh, I don't think I missed one? Because, yeah, this takes me back, but it's like different this time. I don't remember what this door is. I'm kind of just going through each door, but like. I think that's probably a bad idea, because sometimes you do just get to the end without even meaning to. But thankfully, this actually is the coin, wow! I mean, I don't know if they do just do it in order based on doors or what, but like, seems to be the case, for this level at least. Uh, is there a secret exit? No, there's not. Actually, I think I remember what a secret exit is, I think it's like, kind of hidden in this one. But go down here. But where's the third coin? I don't actually think the third coin is with the secret exit in this one. I could be wrong. Which, honestly, I'm probably very wrong because like, it has been a while. Like, because, you know, obviously I had recently replayed this game when I first started the series. But obviously with me delaying the parts so many times, it's actually been kind of a while since I've played, you know, these later levels now. So... You know, combine that with me, you know, playing Wonder a few times in my spare time while playing through this series with you guys and, you know, playing other games. It's like, I am a little bit, like, hazy in terms of some of these. Okay, so that's the normal exit. So I'm assuming the third coin is just with the secret exit. And I think I know where the secret exit is. So hopefully we've done this perfectly solid, just perfect two attempts. I guess we'll see. You never know. Either way. Unlock that path for me, baby. 
I've always loved the aesthetic of this world as well, like how they did like the rainbow path. I think the rainbow with the white general theme of the world, with the clouds, it just pairs so perfectly together. Just white and rainbow. I mean, I get it, you know, white and black, they're both like very, you know, backgroundy colours. So it's like, you know, they both are meant to, you know, they're meant for that purpose, I guess. You know, white and black pretty much works with anything. But still, it's like the white with the rainbow is just... Either way, um, before I do that, I'm going to go for Nabbit, just because I think to get one of the stars, you need to catch Nabbit in every world, and thankfully he only goes up to world 7, he doesn't go to world 8 or 9, so thankfully we are already pretty close to catching all the Nabbits. But I just want to do it, you know, just to get it over with, you know, I typically always catch all the Nabbits as I play through the game, so might as well do it here. Especially since, you know, I didn't play as Nabbit, so I guess this is his way of getting into the series, right? Uh, I think this is one of the easier catch Nabbit missions. I could be wrong, but I swear this one is typically not that hard. You know what, I'll just tank hit. It really doesn't matter. I actually probably could have caught him there, but I caught him anyway. You know, <laughs> doesn't really matter. Diddle-diddle-diddle! <laughs> You got my stuff back. Thanks a million. Here's your 59th acorn that I just have in this sack for some reason. Like, uh, like, is everything that Nabbit stole just like seven p acorns? Is that all he stole from your store? Like, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous how many p acorns you have just in that bag. Either way, I'm gonna use this original acorn. Why not clear out the inventory a little bit? And we make our way back to. Is it, it, I actually don't, I think this is the only world in the game where I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Marange? Marange? Marine? Like, I, I, I'm dumb, okay? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Either way, I mean, like, I'm assuming it's, like, food-based. I don't know what that is. Marange? But, like, every world in the game is food-based, so I'm assuming that word is, like, some food that I just don't know about. Either way, enough rambling about how dumb I am. Let's go get that secret exit. Okay, we are close to the exit, at least uh, from what I remember, I don't know if this is the third star coin or the secret exit, but we go up here to the secret door, and I'm pretty sure the coin is here alongside the exit, but I guess we'll see, is my memory that good? Find out after the break. I don't know why I just randomly started concentrating, <laughs> I, I do not need to. Uh, we go down here, and I think this is the star coin. Yeah. Which means this should be the secret exit. And that's it, right? Yep. Look at me. It's like I remember the game, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thought? Boom. Oh yeah, Mario time. I... I said the wrong line. I, you, you know what, maybe I don't remember this game that much after all. <coughs> we have unlocked the secret path. The rainbow. Too bad. We're not going to be using it. My nose is really itchy again. I don't know why that's a trend with this playthrough. I, I guess I'm just allergic to let's plays or something. Either way, that's the easiest path of my life. Yeah. Boom. And we get a free ice flower, bro? I'm being too generous. You can't just give me an ice flower like that. Bouncy cloud boomerangs. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. I oh, I actually, I have, I've always loved this background, like the sunset. I love when they do sunsets. I don't know why. They just always look so good. Okay, they are just handing out power ups in this level. I. <laughs> uh. Oh damn! I guess I should go back for the ice flower. Wee! Oh, it's still there. Who would have thought? But, but! Boom. Oh! I thought I was going to lose it. If I lost it right after going for it, I would have cried. Uh... Oh! Oh! Oh my. Why is this so intense? Uh... Is there actually anything here? It's just a one-up. Ooh. This is something, though. I think... 
Yep. Boom. I remember that. I don't know why I remember that, but I remember that. Like, if all the secrets, secrets were like that, where it's like, yeah, there's a whole bunch of blocks here, and but, you, you know, if you're the kind of person that likes breaking every block, you'll discover that on your own. It's like, secrets like that, I completely understand, and it's like, you know, they make sense, but it's like... When they just completely hide it behind like an invisible wall or a block that you don't even know is there. I feel like that's where the secrets kind of like, fall off in this game. But secrets like that, I think are actually like really solid. And that was actually the second star coin, which means I have missed one. Don't, don't know where I would have missed it, but I guess we're going back for hunting. Oh, it's literally right there. Wow. <laughs> I guess I am blind, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, like, that's also a pretty good secret, you know, hide it in the clouds, but it's still, like, visible enough as to where you're not going to miss it unless you're dumb like me. <laughs> like, the, like, secret, like, if, like, even just down to the secrets in this world, I feel like they're a lot better. And more, like, on par with, like, you know, the DS entries. Secrets. And I actually really like that. Like, I think that's what... <laughs> <coughs> Anyway, I think that's why I actually like World 7 so much in the console entries, is because it feels like it consistently has some of that, like, DS level quality, in terms of, like, the secrets, the level design. It just feels like World 7 is where Nintendo just really locks in. It's like they know what they want to do, and they just absolutely go in with every level. I don't know why, and I don't know why it's always World 7, but it is. And you know what? I'm not complaining, because... Personally, I love the cloud worlds. Uh, I'll go for the one-up, sure. Huh! Look at that, actually sent me way higher than I thought. I thought that was going to be close. Oh yeah! Mario time! Boom, baby. I just banged my elbow on my keyboard. That's... Ow. My nose is so itchy. I don't... I, I think I have like an allergic reaction to my room. I'm not even joking. Like Every time I record these videos, my nose just goes to town. I don't know why. I do apologise. Like Half the video, you're just going to see me scratching my nose. Like It's kind of awkward. Anyway, unfortunately, I am going to have to fight this fuzzy, I think they're called fuzzies, I could be wrong, but hopefully my inner Mario nerd is coming out and I'm actually right. I guess you guys will probably correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure they're fuzzies. If not, then that'll be really awkward, I'm a fake fan and I've been playing the series since I was like one year old. Give me that star. I can't believe they just gave me a goddamn super crown. Please tell me I don't have a super crown already equipped on Toadette. Because I really just want to get this equipped and get it out of my inventory. Because for some reason you can't discard items in this game. I don't know why that's a, not a thing. Thankfully she doesn't already have a super crown though. So Toadette, take that and get the hell out of here. I don't, like, that is by far the worst part of the deluxe version of this game like say what you want about the spin jump being on the same button or blue toad being gone from the game at least both of those are hidden behind you know cheat codes or button commands you know at least they're still in the game you can still disable the spin jump from the button you can still play as blue toad but that you can't do anything about that like if you get a super crown all you can do is pray that you don't already have one equipped on toadette waste time going to equip her Equip it, unequip her, and then, like, you, it's like you have to just go through this whole process because for some reason Nintendo didn't just add a way to discard items from your in infantry unless you already have a full infantry and then you have to choose what to discard. It's like, why not just let me discard as many items as I want? Whether when I do the no item challenge or something, like, <laughs> that is definitely one of the biggest complaints I have with this game. Like, it was already kind of a thing in the Wii U version, but at least. You know, every power-up can be used by every character, so it wasn't as bad. But as someone that doesn't frequently play as Toadette, if ever, aside from this playthrough, it's like, for me, you know, having to waste time to equip Toadette, pray she doesn't really have one equipped from, like, earlier in the game, it's like, it's really just a very big inconvenience. I'm actually really glad that they didn't do that in Wonder. And I'm especially glad that they just made Toadette, you know, uh, made her a normal character, and not an easy mode one. Because I'm actually a decent fan of Toadette, I actually really do like Toadette. And I don't get why she was an easy mode character in this game. Like, just felt like kind of a weird decision, but, you know, at least in Wonder she's fully playable. And she's not held back 
quite a super crown thing where only she can use it for some reason. Uh, I, I still think the super crown is just one of the weirdest things they've ever done. <laughs> like, <laughs> why does Toadette just have a crown that turns her into Peach? Like, is that just your way of making Peach playable in a game where she's also the damsel in distress? It's like, is that all that was? Like, I guess it is, but still, just such a baffling decision. And the fact that she made her way into Mario Kart 8, like, how, like, Peach Et made it into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but not, like, Nabbit, arguably the more iconic character from this series, who was also in Mario Kart Tour. Like, I'm still, I'm, I'm still salty about that. Like, I still have a vendetta against Peach Et for that. Like, I could have been playing as Nabbit in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and instead we got Peach Et. Like, <sighs> it still boils the blood. But unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. Either way, speaking of Nabbit, here we are. The second to last Nabbit. Thankfully, we won't have to be backtracking for much longer. Boom. Uh, I think this one's relatively easy as well. I mean, all of them are pretty easy, but like, with like the momentum of the chains and the swings and all that, I think you can catch Nabbit really, like, really fast in this one. As long as you don't mess up. Boom. Give me another PA coon! Do -do 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 -do. Boom. Just like that. We only have one more nabbit to go. And then we can focus on our journey. And you know what? I'm gonna just get one of these ice flowers out of the way. Why not? Can't go wrong with an ice flower. And away we go. Do -do 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 -do. You know, something else I love about Wonder, I think I've already said this like, in this series at one point, but another thing that I just love about Wonder, I just accidentally pressed that. One thing I like, absolutely love about Wonder is just being able to choose what level you want to go back to from the pause menu. You don't have to like traverse the whole overworld to get to a specific pipe just so you can choose where to go. Like, but it's, like, depending on where you are in the world, it's literally faster to just walk to where you want to go than going all the way back to the pipe just to go all the way back to the world. Like. It's really weird how they did it, but I understand why they did it this way, you know, it kind of makes sense, just whatever, but, oh, I chose the completely wrong path, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, let's just hope I do not get a super crown, if anything, just give me a star so I can waste it, because honestly, I'm never going to use it other than just, uh, okay, oh, that's made things a lot slower and harder, but, Thankfully, it should still be possible. Ooh, never mind, it respawns. I did not know that either. Huh. We're discovering a whole lot of things in this part. And we got a star! Exactly what I wanted, baby. Sometimes this game loves me. And sometimes it hates me. But thankfully, it loved me this time. Anyway. Here we go. We're nearing the end already. Wow. I mean, already, it's already been 34 minutes, Jesus. Like, <laughs> these parts, like, when I'm actually in the zone playing this game, it feels like time is just going by so fast. I feel like it has been, like, 10 minutes since I started the recording, and yet, nope, we're almost at the end of the world, and it's almost been 40 minutes since I started recording. Like, that is wild. Either way, I'm just going to keep on going. I think I remember all the secrets in this level. Actually, I think they're relatively, like, out in the open in this one. So we don't have much to worry about. I think this is the first one here. Just got to time it with a P switch, which thankfully is easy as hell. The second one, I think, is just hidden in a cloud somewhere. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. But, but... Huh, huh. Well, never mind, it's not even in a cloud, it's just right there. I mean, I'm not going to complain about an easy star coin, but damn. I think that's in the same game as like some of these other secrets we've been discovering. <laughs> Doesn't even feel like the same game. Do 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 do. do. Wee Way I go into the heavens. But 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 but. Boom. Can I actually hit this guy with the shell? That'd be really funny. Uh. Oh! And I dodged the 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 the, 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 the five. You know what? I'm actually gonna take that PA coin, just so we can get through this level a little bit easier. Might be able to take a few shortcuts. 
I actually don't know if there's anything in any of those blocks. I don't think there is. Could be wrong. But then again, I haven't been so far, so hopefully I won't be again. Whee! Actually, I think I've heard star coins right here, actually. Well, around this area. Uh, my nose is real itchy. I don't know why. Huh! Oh, damn. Well, I uh, should be able to just get this like this. Ooh, that's easy. Just like that. But, but. Just like that, we got the level done. Okay. Oh, I, I was going for another nose itch and I, uh, I thought I just saw my demise. Thankfully, that fire bro has terrible aim. Worse aim than me in my first person shooter games. <laughs> anyway, here we go. The end of the level. I think that, I, I literally think we're at the castle already. Although I do think there's something beyond the castle in this world. Like they do a little bit of trolling. But either way. Mario time! Mario time! Boom. Let me in that castle, baby! Another nose itch for the for the celebration, I don't know. And we got the oh uh, well oh I thought that was gonna be Nabbit spawning, but it was not. Ludwig, the man, the man with the best fight in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I mean, what? <clears throat> Don't sue me. Anyway, let's do this. Speed run through this level. <laughs> Wait, actually, is there a secret here? Why is there just a third window? Yes, there is. I mean, there's one up, but like, boom. That she made a secret rather obvious that it was there. I didn't know that one was there, but I guess I should have known from the coins. They're actually being like, they're actually, like, see what I mean? Like, we're season, like, not, not season seven. Why am I in Fortnite? Like, like in like World Seven, they're actually making things obvious. Wow, they put coins there, so like you would know to at least like go up there and then maybe you'll discover it on your own. Like, I feel like they just was on like another league with this world compared to the rest. It's like they just really, well, ow. I should think this is nice, like, yep, yeah, boom. You know what? It was a blessing in disguise, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Huh. Uh, I actually don't fully remember what a third coin is. Is this it? Actually, can you even get up here? I'm actually a little confused. Uh, why is this here? <laughs> what is this? Actually, do I just go from here? I'm kinda confused, not gonna lie. Uh, is this not it? I actually don't think this is even it. I could be wrong. Uh, I mean, I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, that's not even it. What was that then? <laughs> like, what was that up there? I guess it was just like a secret room with like coins or something? But it definitely wasn't a star coin. So I guess I don't care. <laughs> Whee! Here we are. The final Koopaling. Ludwig. Oh, I love, bro. Something I love about this game is the background. So like, it feels like it just foreshadows your whole journey. Like you can just see yourself get closer. Like, especially towards the end here, like, you can see the castle when Bowser, like, Bowser's ship in the distance, like, oh, just, the backgrounds in this game, man, they have, like, wonder level quality. That's the one thing I'll give it credit for in terms of, like, wonder-esque quality backgrounds. <laughs> the one thing that barely matters, but, like, YOLO. Also, fun fact about this fight is that you can tell which Ludwig is real, because the real one has his eyes fully open while the clones have them, like, squinted. I don't know if there's many people out there that know that, or if that's like a really known fact and I'm just being dumb, but like, ow, well, <laughs> I mean, either way, fun fact for you guys about this fight, if you uh, didn't know, I'm assuming it's a really known fact, but I feel like I barely see anyone ever mention it, at least from like the people I've seen play from the game, so figured I'd mention it, because why not, have a fun fact for you guys, just like that. Mario number one! Woohoo! And just like that, baby, we win. But unfortunately, we have one final mission. We're not at World 8 yet. For those of you that somehow haven't played through this game yet, 
Got to find out and see what I mean. You hear that explosion? Boom. It's gone. Yay! Yay! Bro <laughs> Mario's! Bro's just celebrating. Just. What? I, I, I don't. I, I, my, my, my mind just blanked. Anyway. Enough rambling. Here we are. Bowser's ship, baby! Bro's come for one final battle. Before the finale. The hand. The hand from the beginning. Grab, grab. Boarding the airship. Here we go. Here we go! Uh, is this a thing? Yes, it is. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, I actually really like this level. I actually remember this one. Like, you just, like, fight the hand. But you don't fight it, but, like, you'll see what I mean in, like, a few seconds. You have to just avoid this attack, which, you know, get the same pattern every time. It's not really an attack, but, like, still, I think it's a cool concept for an airship level. Yeah. Woohoo! Uh. Oh. I don't know why I felt the need to do that, but I just wanted to, because why not? I almost got hit by that. That would have been really awkward. Boom, boom. Let's do this. I can't believe we're actually near the end. It feels like how much I've delayed the series. It, it's kind of surreal to actually, like, see it end. But it had to end eventually. And we've still got... So much more to come on the channel. So you know what? I'm actually kind of excited for it to end. Because it just means there's so much stuff even better to come. Like Luigi's Mansion 2 HD! I know I'm like the only one on the planet excited for that game, but I, I will gladly be I will gladly have that title. I will be that game's biggest defender. Do 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 checkpoint baby. I actually forgot you can also shake the remote. Like, I do not know a simple person that actually uses motion controls on these newer games, but like, I mean, if you're a big fan of Wii, I guess it's nice to have the option. Speaking of Wii, I think this is one of the few times they actually implement one of its mechanics here. Second star coin, baby. Also a bunch of coin. Oh, I actually kind of forgot I was doing motion controls for a minute. I was like itching my nose again. I don't know, I, I, I guess I just have a really d OW! I guess I just have a really dusty room or something, I don't know. Either way. Let's do this. Uh, I think that might be a replacement power-up. Could be wrong, but I also could be right. And my streak of being right continues, baby! Can I actually crouch under this? Yes, I can. Pure skill. Don't know how that works, actually, but I'm not complaining. That's how I get copyrighted, chat. I don't know why I'm saying chat, I'm not live, but like. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! That was actually way too close. I thought. I thought. I, I just saw my life flash before my eyes. Uh, I don't think I need this, but. Might as well do it. Life. We're actually going to max out our Mario lives. Boom. Last star coin, baby. Ha! Ha! Let's do this. I actually think we fight Bowser Jr. here? I could be wrong. I actually think we do, though. I don't think it's nearly as good as the fight from Wii, because after just recently replaying Wii, I realised how much I still love that game. I think Wii is probably, in fact, it probably easily is my favourite new Super Mario Bros. game. Like, right above DS. Like, DS and Wii are so close for me in terms of the new series, but I think Wii is still my favourite after replaying it recently. Well, I've replayed both recently, like, for the first time in years. But I think after playing both for the first time in years, just recently, I think Wii is definitely my favourite in the series, with DS being a close second. And then I think 2 is probably third, and this game is probably last. Not even because it's bad, like, I love this game, I love all the new Super Mario Bros. games, but 
I just think. Oh! <gasps> Anyway, after that disaster, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we're just, we're, we're not gonna discuss what just happened, it's fine, uh, Nabbit has also spawned, the last Nabbit that we need, so I guess, instead of end this ending this part off with a boss fight, I guess we're ending it off with catching Nabbit, it's gonna be a very anti climatic way to end the part, but, you know what, gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, I'm gonna roll this time. Let's do this. Roll punch to one one. Oh! Whee! Victory is mine. Mario number one! And there he goes. Mario passes away. <laughs> Without a care in the world, he, no expression. If that was Wonder, you already know he would have done like that falling animation with like him screaming. But no, in this game, Mario just accepts his fate. I guess Wonder Mario just isn't as brave. That is not out of cannon. And Bowser Jr. just punches the ship. I don't know why he's panicking about that. I mean, he's got his own ship, so it's not like he's in any danger. But like <laughs> that whole cutscene is just. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Bowser Jr. is not the smartest tool in the shed. Sh should, should, so to speak. Well, there it goes. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Celebrate! <gasps> Bowser Jr. <laughs> Bro, just a sign language to me. And there he goes. Into the final world. Too bad we're not going there. They, 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 they. I can't speak English. Too bad we're not going there yet. <laughs> Yahoo! You got all the star coins in, uh, I don't know, tangerine. Tangerine clouds. Too bad. We're not done yet. We need to go catch Nabbit. And I think this thankfully takes me right to him. Good thing. We're doing 100%. percent ba do 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 Let's do this. A final nabbit. I actually don't know if this was necessary at all. Don't even know if it gives me a star on my file. I don't know what this does. But hey, at least we're going to have every PA born, even if I never end up using them. It's, uh, it's going to cure that 100% completionist o OCD inside me. Actually, can I stun him with fireballs? Oh my, wait. What? I can... This game's been out for 12 years and I just discovered something new. Like, wow. I did not know you could actually hit him with those. If I hit him enough, would it have just, like, eliminated him? Or would, like, does it only slow him down? Either way. Yahoo! You've caught Nabbit in every world besides World 8 because he's too scared to go into the flaming castle. Uh, I guess I'll just get rid of... I don't know, I guess I'll get rid of the star. I mean, I'm never going to use it, let's be honest. Boom. Just like that, we have a free PA coin. I mean, you can obviously get more because Nabbit just respawns from World 1 onwards now, but hey. Just like that, we have done World 7. And I'm not going to try and pronounce its proper name. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait before we go into World 8. I think I'm going to save entering the world until the next part because this world actually has my favourite. Overworld music, my favourite overworld in general in this game. It's so cool, and unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait until part eight to find out why. Even though most of you have probably already played this, so I don't know why I'm acting mysterious, but <laughs> either way, I think that's gonna do it for part seven, guys. So, thank you, dudes, for watching this series up to this point. We are getting very close to the end of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and I can't wait, man. I can't wait, because the end of this series just means we're getting closer and closer to Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, the Nintendo Direct, all the cool stuff coming. So, I'm just excited, man. I'm just so excited to see where the channel goes over the next few months, because we have got a lot to come. But, for now, 
that's going to do it for this video, guys. So, thank you dudes for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, peace out.